right, let's talk about poor flow and orange peel. Uh, so orange peel, anybody that's been in, in the powder coating business for any time understands what orange peel is. And it got its name because it, it literally looks like the surface of an orange. Uh, it's not completely smooth. It has some hills and valleys and, and uh, you know, th there are different levels of orange peel and, and those different levels, you know, can tell you uh, a few things that are going on. So first thing, uh, some of the ways to control orange peel are to make sure you're you're spraying the right film thickness. You know, there are coatings that are designed to be sprayed at one mil. There are coatings designed to be sprayed at two to three mils. There are coatings that are designed to be sprayed at three to five mils. All those things will will affect what that coating looks like. So if I'm normally spraying two to three mils and I spray it at one and a half or one mil, we are going to see a very tight orange peel uh, that doesn't is not going to be acceptable probably to most people. It'll almost be a dry look. If we spray that same product at six mils, we are going to see an extreme rough looking orange peel or or large orange peel that uh, is not going to be acceptable either. Uh, so make sure we are spraying at the at the required film film build you know other things that can cause if you have a poor ground a poor ground with applying too much powder or trying to apply powder too quickly can result in kv rejection which will come back out of the oven looking like orange peel same thing gun to part distance if you stick your gun in there close with too much kv and 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 apply too much voltage you're going to you're going to have KV rejection. Again, you're going to have orange peel. The rest of the part might look great, but the area where you get too close, or maybe the edges where it builds a little too much film, all that is going to have heavier orange peel and visibly be noticeable. Same thing goes for recoating. Basically, recoating parts is not having a good ground. You already have a, a, a coating there. You don't have the ability to accept as much charge. Therefore, if you throw the same amount of KV and powder at it, you're probably going to create orange peel. So uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but just by reducing KV on a part as you're spraying it, you can usually reduce the amount of orange peel it has. So if I spray it 100 kV and get my gun close, it might be fairly rough in orange peel, even though the film build is correct. If I spray that same part at 60 kV and turn my micro amps down, it might smooth out uh, completely different at the same two to three mil film build. So even though people might have an acceptable part, kV can very much make a difference in the amount of orange peel on the part. And then also don't forget some part, some powders are designed different than others. You know, a, a low cure powder that's going through an oven that doesn't have a lot of heat is going to probably produce more orange peel than a high flow product that you're curing at well over four, you know, 400 degrees. Uh, those products are going to flow better. So there, there are a lot of things that uh, then come into account that can cause your orange peel to, to be acceptable or to be different uh across a part